Hey nerds, Basquatch here. Welcome back to another video. In this week's video, we are going to be in the kitchen. We're going to be cleaning and cooking the fish that we caught from last week's video. If you guys haven't seen that yet, go check it out. Uh, we didn't catch our target species, but we caught some pretty nice fish and today we're going to be eating them. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'm going to go ahead and leave the instructions, ingredients, everything in the description area for you guys so that you can follow along and try it yourself. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and also hit that like button. It helps out the channel a whole lot. And leave me a comment. Let me know sort of videos you guys want to see in the future or if you have any uh, recipe suggestions. Just let me know. Um, it's going to be a short video, so we're going to head downstairs and we'll see you guys in the kitchen. Okay, so good first step. Make sure you have your cutting utensils ready. Um, I have a corded fillet knife, which I actually kind of like uh, because I don't have to worry about charging or running out of battery or anything like that. Got my cutting board and last thing I'm going to do, make sure that you take any of your jewelry off because it could get slimy, could get messy and those things could be pretty tough to clean. But I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the shell crackers thrown on here and show you guys my process. All right. So we're going to start right below the gill plates. So once you find that, so right under the gill plates, what we're going to do is make our first cut go straight down, right behind the gill plate, up the head. To the spine and then from the spine we're going to make a small cut to the tail and once we get to the tail we're going to poke through and go all the way back and we're going to work our way back up and try to find the ribs there they are we're going to cut the meat away from the ribs and then once we're sitting right above the ribs we're going to take our fillet knife you don't have to use an electric knife. I know a lot of people do use an electric knife. If you have a regular, just a really nice sharp fillet knife, that'll do just fine. So we're going to cut our meat away from the ribs. There we go. So we cut our meat away from the ribs, just like you see there. Did lose a little bit of the meat here, but that's okay. Um, we don't want the pin bones here, so I try everything in my power to avoid those. Um, but I actually think we cut the pin bones out already. Oh, there they are. So you want to find the pin bones, and they are right there here. So what we're going to do is make a cut on either side. There we go, in the shape of a V. And then we're going to make a small cut down to the skin. And then we're going to pull up. And away from the skin so now what we're doing is we're skinning this fish and what I like to do as soon as we get our cuts instead of pushing the knife through I like to grab a hold of the skin and pull the skin toward the knife that way we'll get a nice close cut here we go so we had no skin left over or no meat left over on the skin, rather. Throw that in here. And then your pin bones, since we already cut it. Right out of there. There we go. So that's one filet. We're gonna add that to our bowl. And for our fish, we're just gonna flip it over and repeat the process. All right, so I typically always pat well, not always, but I, most of the time I pat the fish dry. In this bowl, we've got a quarter cup of butter. And in this bowl, we're going to be making our breading, which is going to be half a cup of dry breadcrumbs, a third a cup of grated Parmesan cheese, two tablespoons of minced parsley, one teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm doing smoked, pe smoked paprika, but you can do whichever paprika you prefer. A quarter teaspoon of dried oregano, a quarter teaspoon of basil, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a lid on this bowl. Um, if you have a bowl with a lid, I'd recommend using that. You could blend your seasoning together really, really well. Plus it'll help on the next step because you could either dip or just add everything in there after you've breaded it with the uh, butter. All right, there we go. Nice and blended up. So now we're going to get a pan ready. It's going to go straight fish, butter, bowl, pan, Bleh. Now we're gonna spray our pan with Ola canola. There we go. All right, now we'll quickly go through and I'll show you guys. I'm not gonna show you every single dip, but I'll show you one or two. Our fish, it's patted dry. Dip it in the butter, there we go. 
dip it in our bread mixture and there we go from there straight to the pan and we'll just repeat this process for all of them look at that <laughs> All right, we got this cool thing for Christmas. It's a chopper, a chopper, a chopper, a chopper, a chopper, and a slicer. We're gonna use this thing for our zucchini chips. So, look at it go. How thin are those? It's gonna be perfect. Cool, that took all of like 30 seconds. Look at that, we're gonna have plenty of chips there. Okay, so we have our thin slices. We are gonna season with salt. Um, don't know how much. She says to measure with your heart. <laughs> Pepper, that's uh, my heart was in that one apparently. <laughs> Garlic powder, boop, 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 and parmesan. Um, our heart loves parmesan, so we're gonna go a little extra on the parmesan and. You need to stop yelling at me. I have feelings. What did I do with the lid? The lid? The lid, 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 lid. Measure with your heart. Measure with your heart. Check it like a fart. Look at that. Do you guys hear that? It's flying away. Well, look, see? It's if you got the. Whoa. Star wipe. All right, so good looking so far. We haven't even tasted it, but looks delicious. My wife said that one right there looks like a, a mitt. So these will all be pretty good. And then we've already flipped our zucchini. There's our light. Those chips are looking pretty good. I'm hoping they get nice and crispy. And we'll be ready to eat here in about six minutes. What do you mean? Here, I made you fish sticks. Look at, man, they look good too. What, the fish sticks? Yeah, I might eat them before you get to. Yes, that's not what fish sticks look like. What do you mean? Look, it's a stick. It's a fish stick. Just yeah. try it. Fine, man. Oh, it doesn't taste good with strawberry. No, there's nothing on top of the fish sticks, right? What do you mean there's nothing on top of the fish sticks? So you're telling me that there should be nothing. Something on top of it? No. What are you talking about? You took a bite of mine? Man, I'm the one that wanted the fish and I'm the last one to eat the fish. Daddy, they're supposed to look the same. As what? Each other? They do look the same as each other. Not. What do you mean? So these aren't fish sticks? No. Or it was zucchini chips? The heck these do tell I told you, they're still mushy too. See? Um oh, they're still delicious though. Alright guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. It's so good that even last watch is eating it. I tricked him, he asked for fish sticks, so I just made this fish and cut it into sticks and he's eating it. He thinks it's pretty good, so uh Keisha's tried it. And I think she said it's not so good if you had strawberry right before. So I don't know what she thinks about the fish, but I'm going to take a bite. And I'll let you guys know. Okay, that's pretty good. That is good. Okay, so this time I actually will share the recipe with you guys in the description area. Um, and if you guys try it, let me know what you think. If you think it's pretty good or if you made it with different fish or if you changed the recipe at all. Um, I'd like to hear from you guys. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And if you do like this video, hit that thumbs up button. It helps out the channel a whole lot. We're going to go ahead and eat. So, uh, look at that guy. A little Cthulhu there. What do you mean by that? All right, we'll see you guys next time. Sus.